So Sony has just released their newest controller for the PlayStation 5. This time, we are taking a trip to the Wizarding World with the brand new Hogwarts Legacy Limited Edition DualSense controller to coincide with the recent release of Hogwarts Legacy. Hey everyone, it's Milan from Infinite Life and welcome back to another PlayStation video. Before we get this thing unboxed, I just want to take the time to say thank you to all of my followers who have been watching and supporting my channel. We recently crossed the 800 subscriber mark and we are just 200 subscribers away to reach our milestone of 1000. I would really appreciate your ongoing support so please hit that follow button and on to the unboxing. All right, so first off, Sony went completely opposite with the box art compared to previous ones. This time around, it is completely black instead of white like previous boxes. And we have a magical wisp around the controller and the Hogwarts Legacy logo right above the controller. Even compared to the God of War Ragnarok box art, which was half black and white, this is a major shift in product design. It is definitely a major departure from prior box art, but I think it is a great way to differentiate limited editions from their regular DualSense controllers. And so I hope we see more like this in the future with limited edition items. So on the front, we have the PlayStation and Sony logo across the top as always, but this time it's in white instead of black. Again, we have a full face view of the Hogwarts controller on the front and the limited edition DualSense marquee. The left side of the box has the ancient magic symbol and the PS5 compatibility logo at the bottom. The right side also sports the same ancient magic logo and a list of the contents inside of the box. The back has a 3 4 image of the controller, which takes up majority of the page. It has a Wizarding World logo in the top left corner and the phrase heighten your senses under the controller. All right, so let's Let's actually get this unboxed. So just like every other DualSense, we have a generic white box inside, the instruction manual, and the controller is wrapped in a protective sleeve. In here, we have the limited edition Hogwarts Legacy DualSense controller. It is an all black finish, similar to the Midnight Black DualSense. Now I'm not sure if the color matches exactly the same or if they picked a different shade of black for this special edition, but either way, this one looks great. To contrast the black, they've added gold magic wisp designs to the grips on the left and the right, and the touchpad sports a gold line art design of Hogwarts itself, with a touch of magic swirling around it. On the back of the controller, we have the Hogwarts Legacy logo in gold, which looks awesome. This is similar to how the God of War Ragnarok logo is on the back of its limited edition controller. And if you look at the base of the grip on the right, there is a wand design for a little extra touch. The back side of the controller sports the same microtexture grip with the PlayStation icons that we are familiar with, and the top of the controller has the same USB-C and Sony logo. Overall, it seems to be the standard Midnight Black DualSense controller with a little bit more design added to it. But honestly, I'm not very impressed with it. Now if you already have a Midnight Black controller, which I don't, it's practically the same controller with gold stickers added to it. At least with the God of War Ragnarok limited edition controller, it had a unique color for the grip and a two-tone palette where the faceplate was white with the white PS button. With the Hogwarts Legacy controller, it's all black all around all over. Sony could have considered making the share and the option markings and the controller icons and the d-pad directions inside a similar gold to the design to add a bit of flair and uniqueness to this controller or even making the faceplate gold and giving the controller a two-tone effect as well. And when it comes to functionality of this limited edition DualSense versus the other standard DualSense, well, there is no difference. Same as the white DualSense that was bundled with your PlayStation 5, same as the Midnight Black DualSense, same as the God of War Ragnarok DualSense. But that's not a bad thing. You know what you are getting. And in my opinion, the DualSense is the best controller Sony has designed for the PlayStation. It is only a cosmetic change and not a functional one. Now something PlayStation tab during the reveal of this limited edition controller is that the lights around the touchpad will glow the color of your respected house. So obviously, red for Gryffindor, blue for Ravenclaw, yellow for Hufflepuff, and green for Slytherin. And they made it seem like this was a feature exclusive only to this limited edition controller. But truthfully, that is not the case. Any dual sense will glow based upon the color of your respected house. Knowing how quickly these sold out on PlayStationDirect.com, literally within seconds here in the US, it's obvious there's a high demand, but PlayStation needs to put in more more effort into future designs. They really don't have to and that's unfortunate because that means that we will continue to see mediocre designs of these limited edition controllers. So far, in terms of Hogwarts Legacy itself, I'm really enjoying the game. Are they doing anything new or revolutionary with the gameplay or the fight mechanics? No, not really. But the implementation of the story, the magic, the combat is actually really fun. The graphics look great. I do wish the character customization was a bit more robust instead of only being limited to a handful of predetermined facial structures. But overall, the world and the lore that Avalanche Studios has meticulously implemented is just awesome. Now I'm about 40 hours into the game, so these opinions are not just first impressions at this point when it comes to the game. Alright you guys. 
guys, so there you have it, PlayStation's newest limited edition DualSense controller for the PlayStation 5. So, what do you think? Were you lucky enough to get one? Leave your comment in the comment section below and the name of the first house you joined when you were playing Hogwarts Legacy. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button as we make our way to a thousand subscribers. Thank you to all my new and day one followers for all your support. I hope you guys are enjoying your playthrough of Hogwarts Legacy as much as I am. Follow me on my other social media platforms like Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And with that, we will see you in the next video.